Okay, so where we left off was I'm um, looking at the DigiSparks and um, getting to the point of programming those. There's a couple of versions of the DigiSpark that um, are available. So you've got the USB pluggable version. You've got the dev board that has the USB in for doing um, programming. Um, and this will, this version, both of these versions will have the AT Tiny pre-flashed with a with the micronucleus that allows for the microcontroller to do both managing this USB and um, and then uh, also store um, the program that you want to run. Um, on the other hand, this guy is a USB. Uh, this is a programmer for bare. Uh, chips. So once you've got uh, a bunch of AT Tinies, anyways, the AT Tiny 85s from the fact don't have the micronucleus in it. So that has to be burnt in. And that's what we'll be using the pin headers here for to you to do the burning of the that microcontroller over the USB ASP as simple as possible. Oh, I forget. Um, but anyways, we will be um, burning um, the micronucleus onto the uh, to the AT Tiny uh, microcontroller, and then that will make this once this has been programmed into one of these guys. But better than that, we can pop that out, that microcontroller out, and then we just have to provide um, the by the filtering caps for the power supply and the power supply and then the pin outs are available for doing whatever we want so we can pop the chip out of there and put it onto a board that we're going to be um, using and I think the uh, the project is soldered onto there and then it controls a pair of NeoPixel LEDs. So yeah that's what this is about. Now I, I'm using the um, uh, Platformio um, Platform.io Platformio I'm not sure how you pronounce it um, development environment it has already got all of the things that you need um, to do development work on a digispark um, loaded in and all in everything that you need to do on at tiny development also loaded in already so there's not a lot that you have to do um, with when you're using platformio so um, let's um, burn a, uh, a micronucleus and a bootloader onto a bare at tiny 85 chip so the first thing we need to do is jumper the um, the pins into the correct spots on the board here. There's a nice little diagram that um, maps on the Instructables website for Hackerboxes that maps the, the pinouts from your I, ICSP, in circuit serial programmer, I don't know, let's call it that, <clears throat> to the pins that are broken out for the AT Tiny, And that will give you the ability to use, well, either AVR Dude to flash a uh, micronucleus onto the um, this controller or the microcontroller that you put in here and um, that will make it into a, a DigiSpark. Or you can just program the uh, controller directly and then use it um, uh, as a, uh, you can use this as just a way of programming an ATtiny um, using, um, using the uh, USB ASP um, programmer. So there's a couple of things that you can do with this thing. Um, if you want to create a board like this, then you need to um, flash a microkernel onto it. But if you just want to program an AT Tiny microcontroller and put it into some other circuit and not worry about, um, not worry about um, using the micronucleus to manage USB communications for future flashing of your microcontroller and you're just happy to pull the microcontroller out of whatever project you've got it in, pop it into this for reprogramming, then um, then this is all you need. So yeah, there's two different approaches. You can flash a micronucleus onto your, your, your AT Tiny and then it turns this board into essentially one of these guys, um, or you can um, just flash an AT Tiny microcontroller using the um, using a sketch that you've created in your Arduino IDE or your Atom IDE or whatever you're using for developing um, code, and flash that onto your AT Tiny. So yeah, there's uh, that's our next step: flashing either um, the micronucleus or uh, the uh, and our, a sketch onto the AT Tiny there. 
Okay, so in order to get the uh, Platformio to um, upload to your USB ASP, um, you have to tell it in the Platformio.ini for your project that you're using USB ASP as your upload protocol, and then the upload flags is minus P USB, and that will tell that passes that information to AVR Dude to um, upload using USB ASP as the protocol, and minus P USB as the flags. And then, um, then you just push it to um, your target, and it will write and verify. And now you have a blinky LED on your dev board. And that's writing um, a, sim a simple uh, program onto your US or onto your ATtiny 85. So yeah, and that's the result after loading that blinky sketch onto your USB or your ATtiny 85. As you have your LED blinking. Okay, so um, AVR dude minus C, so the USB ASP is our programmer. Baud rate is 19.2, device is TTYS0, we're flashing T85 default, and with these fuses set. So let's see what we get. Um, what? Oh, I forgot to tell it what kind of, um, what kind of device we're using. And that would be... <clears throat> Minus P part. Okay. Minus P. ET tiny E5. And there we go. Reading, writing, AVR dude done. Fuse is okay. Very good. And um, that is what we need in order to flash the bootloader um, micronucleus onto it. So some prototypes got made. And the way these NeoPixels hook up is it's got a positive bus on the top, a negative bus on the bottom, and then individual pixels get jumpered over. Um, so um, you can't have a continuous bus, but they just get jumpered over between pixels. And that gives you an addressable string of NeoPixels. Now, I'm... I'm just using this as a um, as a test implementation. Is that jumpered? That might be jumpered. There. Um, yeah, I'll have to look at it. And but then, uh, otherwise, I, I'm thinking that um, fabric snaps, um, hot glued onto the back of these, would provide some two things. The, the glue would provide mechanical strain relief for the interconnecting wires, and second of all, you would be able to have a uh, removable um, mesh of uh, neopixels inside of your garment. You just uh, so snaps onto the other side, you could snap out your neopixels, and then your garment would be ready to go into a laundry or something like that. And then, you know, maybe t t conf conformally code these just to be on the safe side. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's where we're going there. So I've programmed the um, the trinket or the CJ 
MCU, CJMCU, um, with the Adafruit um, NeoPixel um, library demo. Um, we'll take a look at that. Uh, but basically it runs through a bunch of different um, types of patterns on your NeoPixel string. And you basically give it how many NeoPixels you've got in your, in your string, and then it'll do some fun stuff with addressing those. Um, the colors are actually pretty good. You can't really tell on the camera, but um, yeah, it uh, seems to be working fine. So now we'll flash um, our um, dev board that we made. Um, out of the hacker box and then see if we can use that to power our little circuit. Flashed the program onto our um, our ET Tiny, and so now what we need to do is hook up the uh, the wires to the appropriate pins. So let's get some jumpers for that. And so there it is. There's the uh, there's our dev board with the um, ET Tiny that we flashed, and it's now running the same NeoPixel library program that was running on the uh, on the trinket or whatever we want to call these and uh, so yeah that's uh, that's the second part of the hacker box well part of the second part of the hacker box there was also the um, the notion of the um, keyboard injection hack but yeah I'll have to think of something really fun to do with that